to my channel you guys i am back you guys i'm so happy to be back i missed you all so much and in today's video i just wanted to draw with you guys and right here i am warming up because this is something that i definitely need to do more of and i highly recommend warming up before you draw like your main project or the main reference picture that you want to draw so i'm just basically you know uh drawing whatever <laughs> so that i can get myself warm up before I draw my main drawing I think this is one of the most important things you can do because I feel like especially if you haven't drawn in a minute warming up just helps you to get out of that rusty crusty feeling <laughs> you know I'm not drawing in a while and one of the cool things I noticed about warming up is the more that you draw like you notice you start getting better with each drawing that you practice so that's what's amazing to me like literally you guys try warming up let me know if this happens for you like the more references you start to draw and practice and warm up with you notice that like oh you start to like it more it's getting better you're warming up and you're just feeling in the groove of things again and I had fun with this one because it was an expression reference that I use and I really love the expression here it was just so fun and can't wait to do more of those but i totally recommend that you guys warm up before doing your main drawing it's going to help you tremendously and you're going to feel so much more confident now for the main study you guys i'm feeling confident and ready to go i'm just going to clean up the pencil shavings so we can have a nice clean space to start our new drawing and i flip the book so that i can draw on the right side since i'm right-handed and this is the reference we'll be using today. And now I'm sharpening my sketch pencil. This is Faber-Castell and it is an H and I'm using this sharpener that actually changes sizes with this little dial on there. And then my favorite, my Prismacolor, Prismacolor Color Race. If you know, you know, okay. And I'm using this to basically map out the area of where the characters are gonna be placed on the paper. You can also use this pencil completely for your under sketch, but because you can't see it as much, I'm gonna be using my H pencil. Um, and this pencil is really good for if you have a heavy hand, it's important when we're sketching um, to keep a light hand first at least this is my tip because it'll help you to place things and to kind of figure out where you want to place them before you solidify the lines by making darker lines or darker line work so it's perfect to start out with a light pencil like a H pencil and just get the lines placed where you think that they should be now I'm gonna get my little eraser pencil by Fabricastel and then I tried to do a little trick and I dropped it y'all yeah mm -hmm, I know y'all saw that but it's okay so now I'm just continuing to um, make sure everything is in place before I go in and add more details All right, now it's time to add some details. Okay, you all, so I'm using the Graph Gear 1000. I really love this pencil because it's just so sturdy and I don't know, it just makes me feel all, you know, legit. <laughs> and I don't know, it's just, it's really nice to use for detailing. Um, and if you want to go darker, I would recommend using a 6B or 8B, any of the B pencils, those are really good um, to make even darker lines, which I do go in and I add a little bit of those at the end. But yeah, this is just so satisfying. Like the detailing part is so much fun after you get the sketch done and then you can just add more details and just really flesh it out. It's so satisfying and so therapeutic. I just love it. Don't ask me why I decided to check my watch. I just thought it was aesthetic, so <laughs> I just decided to add that in. And then I um, repositioned my iPad so that I can prepare to draw the second character. And if you're wondering what iPad stand that I'm using, it'll be in the links below. So check those out, you guys. I'm gonna be listing all the tools that I'm using down there so you guys can get one for yourself. 
as I was drawing, I realized that I made the legs a little too close to the edge of the paper, so I had to erase it, and then I just had to kind of pull her knees up because in the reference, the knees, her knees were a little bit lower, so I just used my art, um, what is it, creative freedom, so I can just make her shoes fit in the paper because I, I guess I positioned her a little bit lower than what I thought. So, you know, you can always use your creative freedom to change anything the way that you need to be changed so you can make it aesthetically pleasing. So I think it's so important to not just focus on the reference, but focus on what looks right for your style, what looks right for what you're imagining in your head. I think it's so important that when we are studying from references that we're also using our imagination and what do we see when we see this reference? How does it look to us on the paper and what would look good in our eyes? So yeah. Another thing that I wanted to come in and mention is to not worry about the art tools. Don't worry about having all the art tools that I have. Trust me, I did not get these tools overnight. Like it took me years to figure out what I liked, what I needed, and what I wanted. And you know, it just takes time and you don't have to have fancy art tools to create art. So that's just something that I feel like is important to let everybody know, especially beginners. So you don't feel overwhelmed or discouraged because you don't have certain tools. Cause it's not about the tools. It's just about your talent and your creativity and what you can do with what you have. Because I think it's so important for us to make the best out of what we have and then as we continue to practice and grow, we will get there. We will gather new supplies and all the things that it is that we need. We just have to start with what we have and be patient with yourself. So that's just something that I wanted to remind you. Do not be discouraged. Do not fret and do not compare yourself because everybody is on their own unique journey and God has special timing for all of us. So that's just something that I wanted to come in and mention. And yeah, so I'm almost finished with the drawing. I just did some cute little hatching. I really love doing the little hatching, um, you know, for shading. I think it's so much fun. And then of course I'm adding my cute little heart details. Like I just always have to add hearts in. I just love hearts, you know, add the love in. And I'm going to head over to my marker station and I'm going to grab a pink because I just wanted to add a little pink detail in. I was like, let's add a little bit of color to the piece and so we could really make it pop. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using Ohuhu markers, by the way, love their markers. And I'm really just loving the black and pink. It's just such a cute uh, combination. Also, if you guys are interested in watching the sketch process in real time, you guys can join me on my Patreon at patreon.com slash sushi. I post monthly tutorials there behind the scenes and more exclusive rewards. So check that out in the links below. Okay, so right here, now that I'm done with the markers, I'm going in with my 6B pencil and I'm just darkening up some areas on the sketch and really creating more dynamic line work. So just basically picking areas to thicken the lines in while keeping other areas thinner. So it really gives a beautiful look to your sketches. I would highly recommend it. And yeah, it just gives that depth, that extra oomph that your sketches will really be happy that you added <laughs> to them, if that makes sense. But yeah, this was so fun, you guys. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this video, what you guys think of the drawing. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And before we go, I want you all to vote for the next video idea. So I will be posting a link to the community board down in the comments below, and you guys will get to vote from three different topics. So. 
so yeah y'all make sure to check the links down below and can't wait to see what you guys choose and yeah y'all make sure to follow me on instagram at raw sushi check out the links below for this desk fan because this thing came in clutch i'm telling you every time i finish doing a drawing i just clean it up with this fan and i'm gonna put the links below for all the tools that i've used um, but anyways you guys thanks so much for watching love you all so much happy to be back and i will see you all next time peace love and god bless my loves bye